Hey guys, it's Ryan with Fluid Health. Today I'm going to show you how to do a Thomas test. This is a, a hip extension mobility test, so we're looking at the ability of your leg to move into extension without accessory motion from your hip or your spine. So it's a regional control assessment. Remember when I'm looking at my body's center of gravity, I'm measuring my joint rotation based on my vertical center of gravity. So this dowel represents that, essentially your ankle bone, your fibular head, your greater trochanter, the vertebral bodies, the AC joint, and the cheekbone all stack on that. Now if I'm measuring hip extension, I'm making sure that my pelvis stays neutral, tucked under, and my leg should go behind my center of gravity 20 degrees. So what that means, your little hip, means that your hip bones from your AS here to your PS should be stacked neutral, so not excessively tipped down neutral, and you should be able to go, draw the leg behind that center of gravity line 20 degrees without any motion from your pelvis or your spine. So if I draw my leg back, it shouldn't make my back hyperextend as I go into hip extension. So what we do is we do a, what's called a Thomas test. And it's essentially rolling up a mat so you have a, a ledge or a bolster underneath your hips. You're going to lay on something on the ground, and I'm going to bolster my hip up with that mat. It rounds my hip under and keeps my back somewhat flexed and sets my hip to neutral. Now what you're going to do is you're going to straighten your knee and you're going to extend your leg down. Now what you're looking for is a spillover. So between the rib and the hip, if I bring my leg down and I can't get it underneath my center of gravity without my hip moving down inferiorly anteriorly, without my back hyperextending, well that would be a, a negative, right? So that means that, again, I'm unable to get full hip extension without accessory motion from my spine or my hip. And that means the ball of the femur is not gliding and rolling in the socket. It's dragging the structure that it sits in down with it. And we see that as hyperextension in your lower back. So what we want to do is work on increasing the abdominal tension to support the hips position and be able to get that leg not only to zero, but sub-zero hyperextension of 20 degrees negative and that would be a functional normal range of motion. So you would want to do that on both sides and make sure that again, both legs, whether it's the hip flexors or the quads or the groin or the capsule, just being too restricted, dragging your hip down, we want to get away from that. So that's a Thomas test. And again, you want to see a negative drop and a neutral hip slope from again, about a zero to an eight degree um, slope from the AS to PS. Questions on it? Reach out, admin at fluidhealthandfitness.com. There you go, guys.